Mark, there's a couple high-profile players that are sitting out right now or under the microscope because of autographs. What's kind of your philosophy on guys signing autographs? Our philosophy on yeah. guys signing autographs? Do you audience? tell them go well, ahead or don't do it or how do you? Well, we, we educate them. That's that's the, the biggest thing, and and obviously I think there's some you know parasitic people in, in nature out there that are that are trying to trap some of these guys or entrap some of these guys and just educate them on that you know we teach our guys to, to personalize everything which is hard because you've got you know a guy like Marcus or some of these other guys with however many hundreds or whatever maybe in a, in a day that that uh, he might do and to personalize every one of those is very difficult um, but we just try to to educate them you know and, and they know they know the rules um, all, all, you know, all everybody in, in college football knows the rules. I think to to a certain extent, and and uh, it's unfortunate that 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 kind of stuff takes place for sure. Fifty-five hours away. How did your team prepare so far for this game? Well, we're on the right path. You know, it's it's the week's not done yet. The the hay is never in the barn. Um, but uh, I, you know, I liked our mindset this week, and, and just have to have to you know keep headed headed toward uh, game time. Does their nose tackle present challenges just eating up? Does anybody else have any questions today? No. <laughs> yeah. You're the, you're the spokesperson. Uh, well, he's a stud. He's a stud. He, he's uh, he's he's not just big. You know, there's some guys that are that are just big, and you can do certain things to them. Uh, he's playing a lot more, uh, a lot more snaps. You know, a much more complete player. There there were a bunch of times in the past couple of years that that he's been. In, you know, been really good for a stretch, and then gotten tired, and then been really good, you know, and, and a little bit more inconsistent. But he's playing really well. And they've always had, I mean, they've always been extremely talented. Uh, you know, five of their front seven are, are seniors that we've we've seen those guys a ton. Extremely talented group of guys, and, and a really good secondary too. Talked to Matt Wogan yesterday, and he said that he didn't really understand the rivalry between UW and Oregon <laughs> until he got here, because he, you know, he's from sure. yeah, so far away, and so. He was saying that he really does understand it now. Do you think that you and the guys and on the team, how has that been this week? How has it been preparing for a rival rather than just a, a random? Um, again, people get mad at this, but it's been very similar. You know, our guys, our guys know that 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 you know Washington's going to bring it for many reasons, and and the only thing you can do is prepare for for you know your best and, and getting better. Every week, um, and and that's that's the tried and true formula. You can't get up for one week and then, you know, fall flat the next week. That you get beat. And so we've approached it the same way. I think the the outside noise, whether it's the whatever the uniforms, the the you know the 20th anniversary, the pick, they they certainly have a, a sense of that. Um, but at the same time, you know, for instance, he needs to kick it through the uprights, <laughs> kick it through the end zone, get, you know, keep it out of John Ross's hands. And so his 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 job is is the same. Do I miss that? Do you, do you miss that? I mean, there's a I've got the greatest greatest job in the world in terms of that. So no, I don't miss anything. No, I just mean in terms of getting people fired up for, for a rival game. Other, other no. conferences and few rivalries, things have changed now. The conferences have shifted, right. and there's a philosophy of facing yeah. opponents. Mm -hmm. Well, there has to be. I mean, what is it? The Big Ten. I think every game has some sort of jug or bucket or act. thing or act. Yeah, something involved. And so every you know every game matters a ton. Every game in college football matters. You know, I mean incalculably now in terms of how, how everything goes, but uh, our, our job is to per, you know prepare them to play better, to play great, and, and that that never changes, but you know, game day is, is still game day, and you know, the noise is, is still heard, for sure. You brought up John Ross. You guys brought him here a couple of years for, you know, for a visit during the UW game, I believe. And what, is he similar to Ishmael Adams in some ways? You guys are so, uh, you know, so vocal about how you guys are smothered that mm -hmm. he returned. A quick guy. Absolutely. Yeah. The same mold, same thing. Very similar. I mean, uh, probably, you know, they're slightly different, but they're <laughs> incredibly explosive. And and guys that you know, he had what the 90 some yard uh, screen called back, or had 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 a touchdown, had another one called back last week, had a hundred and whatever yard return it was a couple weeks ago. The guy is extremely explosive, and and you know, we we uh, are very aware of where he is in in every phase, and need to be. All right. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thanks.